Okay, in the last one, we were able to actually successfully pull information from the Firebase database and display it in our profile. Now I want to insert an image just to make sure that it's able to pull the profile image. And I want to add an on click listener to the edit profile button here. And then we're going to get started with populating this with the information from the database. So let's get started with that. So we're going to first go into uh, profile fragment, or no, actually, let's go into our database first. Uh, that's the wrong one. Uh, database okay so I just want to insert a photo here just some random photo and just to make sure that it's working so I'm just gonna I think I have a URL here in yeah so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna literally insert this photo right here that's the one that we saw out right displaying right here that's this image right here just gonna grab that URL and we're gonna go to our database and go HTTPS slash slash paste that URL Hit enter. So now we have that URL there, and I might as well give it to the other user also. So just paste that in there, press enter, and that should be good. Okay, so now if I navigate back to, there we go. So it, it, it is grabbing the image successfully, and it's displaying it. Perfect. Now let's add an uncle closer to this edit profile button. So let's go to clone and go to profile fragment, and we need to add an uncle listener. So do I even have that widget here? I can't remember the name, let's check it out here. Should be, oh, in, yeah, in here. Let's click, click there. Oh, in Layout Center Profile, and click inside. Oh, <laughs> so it's gonna be in Snippet Top Profile. Snippet Top Profile, and we wanna click on that guy right there. So what's the ID? Let's see text edit profile okay let's actually close everything I have way too much stuff open here and let's go back into profile fragment and we're going to create that text view so text view text view uh, edit profile equals text view view find view id r to id dot text text edit profile there we go and then edit profile set on click listener set on click listener New on close listener. I'm just go navigating to. I think I have a fragment name for that actually, so I can go contacts get string, and this is the edit profile fragment. Okay, so it's just going to let us know that we're navigating to that fragment. And okay, so in order to navigate to that fragment, we're going to do. Is it a fragment? Edit profile fragment. Yeah, but it's actually in account settings activity. So we're gonna have to do some finagling here because we're gonna need to go to account settings activity and then go to edit profile fragment because currently there's two options in account settings activity. You can either sign out or go to edit profile. These are both fragments. So we need to navigate to account settings activity and then automatically navigate to the edit profile screen. So uh, we can use an identifier for that. We can do, okay, so let's do a regular old intent was new intent get activity and it's gonna be account accounts settings activity class and we can do intent dot put extra and just do get string r dot string dot uh, calling activity I'll call it and then get string r dot string dot profile activity is what we're gonna call that one because this is just going to be a flag. This is, this is going to be a key value pair essentially here. So this one is going to be the key saying that, okay, we got an intent coming in. Um, it's going to be a calling activity. Basically, this is a flag just letting you know that this intent is a calling activity. And then this is actually the fragment or the activity that we're coming from. So then when in account settings activity, when I receive this intent, I can interpret it and go, okay, I have a calling activity which calling activity is it it's profile activity and if we go directly from profile activity to account settings activity then we can write some logic that will automatically take us to the edit profile fragment hopefully that makes sense um, you, I'll, you'll see it in action in just a sec here so let's add these new strings here I'm just gonna label this intent extras and copy one of these string lines calling activity 
it's just going to be literally calling activity. And I guess I'm going to need to do activity names. Same, oops, copy this again. And we're going to be coming from profile activity. So I can just do profile activity. And we can close that. So those are all good now. And then we're going to start the intent. Or start the activity with the intent. Okay. So that's fine. And do I want to call finish here? That's the next question. I don't think so because we want to be able to navigate back to that activity. So there's no need to finish it. So we're going to leave that. And now inside of account settings activity, we want to get that incoming intent. And if it's this, if, if the extra is this right here, then we want to automatically navigate to the edit profile fragment. So let's create a method here. I'm going to say private void get incoming intent. And I don't think I need anything. Do I already have that? No. Okay. So um, we want to get the intent. So we can go intent, intent equals get intent. And that will retrieve any incoming intent that's coming to this activity when it was started. And then we just want to say if intent has extra, and if that extra is the calling activity, as we labeled it, remember, we gave it the key identifier calling activity. So if it's calling activity, I can say, okay, uh, received incoming intent from, uh, I can say, fit string r dot string dot profile activity. Because that is the case that we have set up. And in that case, we just want to set our view pager and we can do pager adapter get fragment number and get string r dot, oops, r dot string uh, edit profile fragment. Okay. And that should be good. So this will catch the intent. If it is in fact the intent we set right here, then it will set the view pager to the edit profile fragment. So now what we've got to do is set this in on create. So get incoming intent and that should be good. So let's, let's run that and test it. All right. So we'll go to the profile over here and that stuff's all looking good. Now let's click on the edit your profile button here. And there we go. It does take us successfully to the edit profile fragment, which is exactly what we want. So, um, and this still works. We can click there, we can go to the same place and it's looking pretty good. Okay. So in the next one, we're going to work on actually starting to get the information from Firebase and populating these data fields. So I'll see you guys in that next video.